CSU Rams football in the bold new era led by first-year head coach Jim McElwain. Welcome to the Ram Report with Jim McElwain. Touchdown, Colorado State, and CSU is going to win this thing. Hi, everybody, and welcome inside many of Loveland's sister dealership of Coe's BMW. It's another edition of the Ram Report. Brian Roth with you. Of course, head coach Jim McElwain joins us each and every week. Jim, thanks for joining us. And uh, the Rams fall this week to the University of Wyoming. And, and I, I know that's an important game on your schedule each and every year. And well, you, you just couldn't get off to that quick start yesterday. No, and it's, it's uh, really disappointing. You know, this one really hurts. Uh, I really felt our guys had a really good week of preparation. I, I, I do know, as I looked into their eyes, I could tell, you know, they understood what this rivalry means. And, uh, you know, to go through it for the first time, uh, you know, was good. And uh, yet we did some really good things. I thought our guys fought throughout the game. And, and um you know, it's just it's disappointing. You know, you're, dis you, you're disappointed for the fans. You're disappointed for all the people that, that understand the magnitude of the rivalry. And, and uh, you know what, uh, we'll get done with this season and uh, we'll put a real focus, uh, as we have with all our rivalry games. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's disappointing. Yeah. Again, the Rams fall on Saturday against the University of Wyoming. Well, temperatures about 49 degrees here in Laramie, Wyoming. The wind out of the west at about five miles an hour. That in itself is a miracle for the 103rd playing of the border war. The bronze boot on the line between Colorado State and Wyoming. And takes the snap, stands in the pocket, fires over the middle, ball wide open. It's McNeil. He'll catch it at the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Donnell Alexander as a starting running back from the shotgun. Smith wants to throw, going downfield, ball is tipped for, and it's caught by Colorado State! Going to the house, it'll be Thomas Kaufman! And it's a touchdown of 75 yards! As second down and 10 from the Rams 16 yard line, here comes the blitz, Smith steps up, fires over the middle, man wide open, and it's caught for a touchdown. Left, Donnell Alexander flanking him. Give to Alexander, run up the middle, big hole. Has a 35, still on his feet, 40. 45 midfield, and Alexander gets face masked down inside the 45. Calls for the snap, gets it. Cowboys bring four. Smith fires left side, ball picked off. Wyoming heading the other way. Blair Burns down the far sideline. Smith to beat, and he beats him. He's gone. Touchdown, Wyoming. Smith from the shotgun, setting up the screen near side, Marquise Lock, cut a field, 40, 45, Lob midfield, 45 near side, 40, shed a tackler at the 35 to the 30, and he is pushed out of bounds. Rams again go from the pistol, again it's Alexander, again he'll get the call, running right side, has a crease, at the five, he's in! Touchdown for Donnell Alexander. First down and 10, Grayson to throw, gonna go deep, looking down the middle of the field, has Coughlin, the ball diving catch, did he make it? You bet he did! This will be an attempt of 31 yards, ball spotted on the far hash, McPeak to hold, snap is good, Roberts puts a foot into it, it is up, and it is true. 10 from the Cowboy 31 yard line, play fake, play fake on the reverse, step it up to the pocket, Smith down left side, wide open, ball caught, Cartwright at the 10, he's to the 5, and he's in for a touchdown. The screen pass from their own 32. Smith takes the snap, throws deep left side. Nobody has love it. Caught it to 45 40. Streaking down the far sideline to the 20. He's to the 10 and will be caught from behind inside the five. Three yard line of Wyoming. First and goal. Joe Brown off the left side. Bulls his way into the end zone for a touchdown. That's going to do it. Another slow start for Colorado State. And once again, they're not able to come back out of the own, their own hole. Again, 45 to 31, the final score as Wyoming knocks off Colorado State. And, and you know, Jim, I thought the, the real, the big play of the game, you guys are down 14 to seven, you're going in, uh, it's third and goal, and, and the interception that gets tipped, and it goes back to the, to the other way, the touchdown. Yeah, I mean, that's one of those turning points in a game that, that you, know, uh, you know, you never want to see happen. Uh, mistake by a young quarterback, uh, you know, we panicked a little bit in the pocket, but uh, at the same time, we, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think that that was the end all, you know, I mean, there was some things we had to do throughout the game, 
you know, get off the field on third down, which, uh, you know, uh, our defense have been playing pretty well the last couple of weeks. And, and, you know, I felt that, that we got them in some pretty third and long situations. That's what you want to try to do now. Uh, we need to get get off the field and get the ball back. But, uh, you know, that definitely, when you have a big turnover, and we talked going into the game, you know, the keys to victory were us not giving them anything cheap, and, and that gave it something cheap. Yeah, again, Rams minus three on Saturday against Wyoming in a turnover battle. Talk about the quarterback situation. Connor Smith only plays at three quarters, throws for 326 yards, but you got Garrett Grayson in there in the third quarter just trying to give your ball club a little energy. Yeah, a little spark, and it's something we want to do. Garrett's now, he's been five weeks out, and, and uh, you know, he was our starter. We felt that, that he could come in and, you know, give us give us a little energy, and, and, you know, them defensively did a couple things in some situations that kind of confused Connor. He, he actually got away with a couple throws that might probably should have been picked as well. And so we felt it'd be good for him to come to the sideline, take a look, and then, you know what, he went back in and really executed, and, and uh, that was good to see. Teams obviously are going to try to try to confuse any quarterback. Is it maybe more pronounced when when you have a, a kid with oh, yeah. inexperience? Yeah, there? there's no doubt about it. And they see on film, you know, he maybe gets locked in on some things yeah. that, that uh, but, but that's all part of learning and, and we just got to continue to show him those and, and you know he's gotten a little bit better every week. Yeah and, and you're a former quarterback you understand that it's not just throwing the ball because nobody can doubt Connor Smith's arm there's a lot more to the position than just throwing the ball. Well and you know we had to use a couple timeouts in that drive sure. you know where he wasn't able to you know get us into what we need and yet we've got to do a good job as coaches realizing that and uh, you know maybe cutting down on some of the verbiage if, they, if that's the case. But, uh, you know, with that, um, you know, I thought he did, some, he did some good things in the game. And, you know, I thought Donnell Alexander ran the ball well. And, and I thought our guys up front for the second week in a row uh, did a really good job of, of, of handling the front. All right, we'll talk more about that Wyoming game. We'll also take you inside that Ram locker room. Stay with us here on the Ram Report.